Hi guys, Anne here, and today we have a little car drive, and maybe a walk and talk, I'm not sure. It is late, it is 3.05, today is Friday, October 18th. I have been ripping and running like all day, okay? I even filmed some videos and everything. I've been busy. I have a pit stop to make really quickly, and then I need to get something to eat because I am starving, and I can feel my sugar dropping. I'm getting a little shaky. And I usually carry in my car uh, the peanut butter crackers, but you know, I'm not in my car. You know, my car was totaled. Um, now, let me give you a little update. Now, I just got an email yesterday or the day before, I'll put it right here, uh, that now they're like finally going to tow it out of the tow yard and they're getting a second adjuster to look at it to see if it can be fixed. What? If they fix that car, I mean, there's nothing I can do, but I'll tell you what, if that, if they fix that car, not that it was like completely damaged, do you know what I mean? Um, like pushed in and all that, but the amount of damage is in the car. And once the airbags deploy, like I know, like there's times that the airbags come out for minor stuff and it could be fixed and stuff. I just don't trust it. However, the amount of damage, now I'm not talking about like, um, the side, the doors and all that, they're just doors, they could be replaced. But the front, how much is damaged on the underneath? Because we haven't even picked the car up to see what damage is underneath. Um, because like I said, the lady hit, hit the car in the front and then it spun and then the car hit her back and her, you know, wh whatever the case may be. But it's just, I, I, I wouldn't trust it. Um, but I guess they're trying, I mean, it would cost more than what the car is worth. I, I don't know. Anyway, let me go take care of this really quick and then uh, get something to eat. And then maybe we'll go somewhere. We'll do like a little walk and talk it out for a little bit. You know, I'll be back. So I'm walking. Um, and let me just tell you, you know how you hit your car like to, um, to uh, lock it. And I always do it twice. And it sound like a, a car horn. So it went beep, beep. And, oh God, that was driving by here. He went beep, beep. Anyway, so I wasn't beeping at you. It's beautiful out. I'm probably, I probably should not have put this one because I don't have any change on me, honey. Just wanted a bit of coffee at that restaurant. Yeah, I, I literally have nothing. Um, I'll have to go in the car and come back and give him something. I really don't have anything on me. I hate that. Um, all right, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. That friggin broke me. I got money out of my pocket like I'm going to pull up to him because I really did not have cash on me or anything. Um, oh, I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. I, I, nobody should be homeless or need money or uh, regardless what they use it for. I don't care. I know my heart's in the right spot, but... I mean, I'm sitting there looking at the Natasha Denona palette that's just coming out. Uh, the Rosa palette. I forget what it's called. It's like $69. And I can't give him a few bucks. And I never film when I help somebody. I just want to let you know because I think that's disgusting when people film that. But I will keep it running just for my safety. Because um, he is a guy. But I'm not going to show him. <laughs> I didn't have on me walking up. Okay, thank you. Good You're welcome. Thank you. Yep. Now I gotta get something to eat. And um, then we'll go for a little walk and talk. I hope I can get this edited for you and get it up. Because I need to edit um, a video for my beauty channel. Because I haven't put up anything, I think, since um, me and the kids did the carport the portable garage if you haven't seen that video I'll link it in the pinned comment as well me and the kids and it's like the next day the next day after <laughs> my car's total <laughs> I did all that to hide like the license plate this or that that is oh, it's not funny sometimes we have thank you so much sometimes we have to laugh to keep from crying you know but uh I have to go to Walmart and stuff too. There's a few things, but I'm not doing that today. I just want to get out. What, what is the weather? 
72 out. I probably shouldn't have to put this on because I'm getting overheated, but I have a very light short sleeve shirt. Like, I don't know if you can see it underneath it. Um, then I'll probably be too cold. I know. One good thing is, do you remember, um, I just got brand new tires on that car. Remember? So I paid over a thousand dollars for four tires and, um, they're going to give me money for that as well. Cause I was telling Tyler, I'm like, we'll go back to the tow yard and get a jack and take those tires right off of there. They're brand new tires. <laughs> I I'll take them right on back, but they are going to, I just have to, um, email her the receipts. I literally just, they're not even what a month old because they'll take those tires and sell them. You know, they'll keep them. All right. I'm going to get off of here and I'll be back. I'm going to go get something to eat and then I'll be back when we get to the park or some somewhere. I'll be back. Okay, so I have a change of plans. <laughs> I had to come home because I had Lexi's car. Um, and she has to go somewhere because I'm scared to drive the rental car in case I get into an accident with it. I don't know. It's a superstition. So now we're going to go in the rental car. I'll show you what that looks like. And then I'll be back. I didn't want to come back and you'll be like, uh, was that a different car she was in? <laughs> or I'll be back. It's beautiful out. Love you. All right, I'll be back. All right, so I'm in the rental car. I don't know how I feel about this. As far as I can tell you, what I don't like is as soon as you put the brake on, like tap it, it stops. And I got to get used to that, right? I don't like the color, which I'll show you. It's like an orangey color, you know? I don't like that. And I mean, it's a rental car. It's not mine. This is a 2024 and it has 29,460 miles on already. Almost 30,000 miles already. Um, but I mean, it, it, it's, it's a nice car. It's a Kia. They're similar to Hyundai's a little bit. You know, I think Hyundai owns kia or kia owns hyundai or something like that all right well let me show you the rental car and then we'll start our walking all right so this is oh let me turn the car and you can see the lights it's a push button like my car has this thingy so it has these red lights has some things you could plug in which is nice it's automatic this is it's different because I'm like, well, where's the stuff that's on the side? I've never seen that before. That's kind of cool. And then this is the color. It's like more orangey in person, but I mean, it's all right. It's so not bad. Okay. Not bad. One day I'm going to bring Nala with me. I told you she's been having issues with her shoulder. Uh, but they have like some... What do you call it? Uh, like alley uh, trails, but it's like very secluded and something like that. I, I would rather have Nala with me, even though I carry. Let me tell my hair noise. I'm like, is that a snake? Even though I carry protection on me, um, I never know if it's there's a loose dog. Um, but you know, you never know. There's definitely noise is coming from there. I'm just going to keep walking and mind my business. I had a few of you ask me, so I think the next time I film, I'll put it in there. Like what I'll do is I'll have one of the, the kids film me. Um, I told you guys that I bought, oh, I don't know, six months ago maybe. Well, the kids bought it for me. It's like this boxing thing. It's like six of them and it comes with boxing gloves. I love it. I use it more for exercising because it has Bluetooth and you can put music on it and stuff. And I love it. Um, but I have always boxed like probably since I was about 13, 14, not professional, just something that I enjoy. I used to beg my mom, put me in boxing, put me in boxing and she never would. <laughs> Which in a way I'm glad because if you are in boxing, like my daughter's father, he was a golden golden glove. So if he fought and he can really get in trouble because his hands are considered lethal, you know, like weapons, not lethal, but like weapons. Um, but I, I just always enjoy boxing, like the sport and stuff, but I think it's really good exercise. And um, anyway, I'll have one of the kids film me so you can see how I box, like how you work it like as far as exercising and that's really good one for cardio but also for your arms and a lot of people think uh 
that when you fight, your power comes from here, that muscle right here. No, your power comes from here, th that, you know. I'm holding the selfie stick, but right here, this, this muscle. Also here, but um, really here, that's where it comes from. But also it's the way when you box, the way you turn, when you turn and punch. And the key thing is, I'm sharing this for anybody that walks alone. The key thing is when you punch, see I'm left-handed. When you punch, you turn your wrist. Don't just punch like that. That's where the power comes when you hit them. And also, if you're ever walking alone and get attacked, right? The best thing to do, how you can break a jaw, right here. Punch the shit out of them right here. But if somebody's on top of you, right here. You push up like this, what you either punch or like this. This is what I recommend to do as hard as you can. You can actually kill somebody doing that, but you can break their nose and you will stunt them. If you can't do that, you do to take their eyes and poke the shit out of their eyes or anything you can do. Or if it's a guy, grab their balls or what, what you can. But that is the number one thing in self-defense. Um, as far as other things, there's different ways. But I always suggest any woman that if you want to walk, take a self-defense class or karate or boxing or anything like that, I'm telling you, to learn self-defense. I love this law. I tell you all the time because it just reminds me. Oh, I literally, you see that? Do you see how I almost tripped? That's my ankles. See how my ankles, I'm walking, not doing anything, and my ankles go numb, and that's how I hurt my um uh, that's why I always have damage to my ankles, but I do have my ace bandage on, so that's why it didn't hurt. I love this so much. Let me show you this bench. It is so beautiful out. Oh. Lord, I literally almost ran into that. Oh my God. I do that all the time because I don't look what's in front of me like this. I'm like looking or I look down, you know, and make sure I don't trip on nothing. <laughs> that I run into things. Oh, this is so beautiful. So here's a bench right here. But let me turn you around. Like, look at that. So if you're just sitting here, look. Oh, it's beautiful. I could sit here all day, bring a sandwich or something. I tell you guys all the time, every morning, no lie, every morning I wake up, when I make my coffee and stuff, I always thank God. I go outside and I thank God. Thank you for this and this and this. Like, I just love nature and outside. And I, I, I know I bring up this all the time, but I see so much bullying on YouTube or not even on YouTube or what have you, or teaming up. And I'm telling you, if you just go outside and take a walk and enjoy what's around you, I mean, it'd make you a happier person. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Because I used to be there. I used to be where I was just depressed and miserable. And then when I made my blogs, I was always complaining. I mean, let's be real. I still complain here sometimes. But that. But, like, I was just depressed. So, you know, I would never even ask people, how are you? Or nothing like that. Because I was miserable. I was into the gossip. If people made videos, it's like, I wanted to hurry up and watch. It was like reality TV. You know what I mean? Or something like that. I can admit to that, right? But when you're happy, like I always say, there's joy and then there's happiness, right? And I have joy in my life. But even happiness, if you're happy... You don't even want to be bothered with that stuff. Like, because there's so much going on around. Go outside and sit. I'm telling you, there's been so many times that I wake up because I suffer from depression. And I will wake up depressed and I don't want to do anything. Or what have you. Or my anxiety is high. And I'm telling you, how many times, even on here, I just force myself to get up and go for a walk and then like I feel better I even share that to you guys sometimes I'm like I'm so glad I went for a walk because I feel so much better it's true I noticed when I stayed in the house all the time before I started doing these walks and everything oh my god my depression I, for days I would be like that and then sometimes like you know like even now like uh, I'm go like for the past few days that's what I did I slept a lot I didn't want to film I didn't want to do anything I still cook dinner and all that right but I didn't want to do anything else and like today I forced myself you're gonna put a little 
put yourself together, put a little ponytail on, you know, get dressed or what have you. I don't really have like face makeup on. I have a little blush and stuff and lipstick and mascara, but you know, it's like, it makes me feel good, you know, and a lot of times, like, that's why I don't film at two, three o'clock, you know, but I still get out and go. And even now, like just having the sun, I don't know what it is, but it just will put you in a better mood. If you can't walk, if you have health issues, if you don't have a car, just sit outside, sit on your step, what have you. I am telling you, it'll make a great, great difference. I remember, gosh, a couple years ago, even a year ago, I would never come on camera without my hair piece on or what have you. Now, I come on camera a lot of times with no makeup on at all, just my hair up because you know I'm very insecure because of my hair and my thinning hair and stuff. But I do it because I'm like, I'm not going to let the devil win of my insecurities and not want to be on camera because of this and no. And I think, because somebody left a comment and said, well, where do you see all this? You know, like maybe I'm subscribed to the wrong people, which is true. But I think before I never realized how much bullying or how much is going on online because I was part of the problem, because I enjoyed it. I liked to watch because I was like, well, it don't have nothing to do with me. You know, like what I'm saying, like reality TV. But I think now I see it more, you know? How you doing? Good. You know what I'm saying? Now I see it more because I'm not in that headspace. You know? I mean, listen, I ain't perfect. I'm human. There's times that I get mad <laughs> and I'll come on here and I'll be like, Arr, or bring something up that happened how long ago. I'm not perfect. But I'm talking about to want to bully people or team up or go real life. No, because it ain't that serious to me. You can call me all the names you want. If it's not true, I don't care. I think I'm gonna walk up this way. Do you know what I mean? Don't ever allow people to call you names or anything like that if you know it's not true. Because let me tell you something, you can explain yourself to the cows go home. And let me just tell you, if people want to think about you a certain way, no matter what you say or do, that's what they're going to think. You can't change people. I learned that the hard way. When people didn't like me or they thought a certain way or, you know, tried to make it seem a certain way, it used to bother me. And I used to be like, oh God, is somebody going to make a video? Is this going to happen? You know? And because it would upset me so much because I'm like, but it's not true. And then if I would see comments like... Hold on, let me get out of the sun. Okay. And then like if I see comments on somebody's video or something like that, and they're agreeing with the person or they feel that way because what somebody said, and I know that's not how it was, it would upset me, you know? And it's, it's not worth it. If I know it's not true, like I always say, what other people eat doesn't make you shit doesn't make you poop, right? In other words, if I eat something like I, right? If I eat something, that ain't gonna make you poop. If you eat something, that ain't gonna make me poop, right? In other words, what other people say don't affect you, especially if you know it's not true. Remember when I had past dramas before, even friendships and stuff like that? And I'm like, well, that's only one side or how they, it doesn't matter. When people would gang up or what have you, used to hurt my heart. It doesn't matter. People are always going to think a certain way. You can't change it. So why get mad and then... Oh, it's a squirrel. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway. But do you see what I'm saying? It, it would stress me out to where I would shut down. And... That's why I always say pray for your enemies. Pray for your enemies and don't allow what other people think about you affect you. Now I know it's easier said than done and sometimes I get like that too. But in the grand scheme of things, listen, people are either gonna like you or they're not. People that know you and who are your friends know you, right? Other than that, or people, if you do YouTube, I'm just using this as an example. Uh, you, your audience, your, you know, the people that support you know you. 
And if somebody was to talk about you and to make that other person leave, then you don't need them anyway. Then they don't really know you. Right? And like I said, I'm just talking. Uh, it, because that comment, like, made me think, like, yeah, that's so true. Like, why now am I seeing all of this? And it's like, because I think before it was part of the problem. When you watch, that's kind of like supporting it. Even if you don't say anything and you're a lurker, what I say lurker is you're in the bushes in the background just watching but not saying anything. Well, that's still supporting that behavior. And I will put my hand up and tell you, I used to watch because I'm like, well, it don't have nothing to do with me. And it's like reality TV. But really, I was helping it. I was supporting it. Why? Because the more views and watch time, YouTube will, support, will, will promote that. When I could have been outside taking a walk, <laughs> you know? Because I think sometimes we take things for granted until it's taken away from us, right? Like how beautiful it is. Well, when people get locked up and it gets taken away, then you realize and, and then you start missing things people took for granted. Like I live very close to Atlantic City, the casinos and everything. And I never go there because I'm like, well, I know it's there anytime I want to go. I can get there in 45 minutes. There are people that pay thousands of dollars, would love to go to Atlantic City, you know, and I can get right there, but I don't go. But why? I take it for granted. It's right there. I can get there anytime. Ocean City, New Jersey, get there in 30 minutes. Same thing. I can get to Delaware, Philly, all of that, but I don't go. I have a car. I can go. I go to the same places all the time. City, park, the lake, here and there when I could just be going out and showing you guys what that's what I wanted to do a long time ago is to show you guys what South Jersey looked like, but I don't do it. And that's what I'm talking about. I'm using that as an example. Sometimes we take things for granted self-consciously, you know what I mean? Um, but I'm in the trails. I'm not going to go too far in because I don't have my other protection on me. Let me show you. So. You can either make a left. We're gonna go straight just for a little bit, but that's where I came from. And so that's what I mean about to just go outside and smell the fresh air and thank God for, for all of this, you know? I'm telling you, when you have peace in your life and when you're happy, you don't even care about the drama. You don't even care. This is the truth. I have been watching more cable TV than I do YouTube now. That's the truth. It's kind of like, okay, so, you know, on my uh, other channel, I do beauty box unboxings. Well, I don't get the views and all that like I used to. Why? Because before COVID, beauty boxes were very popular, right? This was before TikTok and all that really took off, right? Well, when COVID happened, so many people lost their jobs or, or you know, couldn't work or didn't make the same amount of money or whatever the case may be, or you're in the house and you just don't wear makeup, that and then TikTok started to do this like skincare and no makeup makeup looks and all this that if you're not getting if you're unsubscribing and not getting beauty boxes well you don't want to watch beauty box unboxings unless you really like the person <laughs> especially me i say you come for entertainment not to learn anything you know what i mean scared the shit out of me um and it's like, so it doesn't interest you because, uh, you know, it's the same thing. If you're truly happy and all this, like drama and all that ain't going to interest you. Unless you're in the drama. Oh, look at that squirrel. Oh, if I turn it around. Oh, see, it ran. Ooh, I was going to get it so you could see it. Oh, I don't know what you can say. Hold on. Can you hear it? going up that tree how you doing but like I don't know if you can hear Tom editing but like I hear <laughs> this stuff and I'm like is that a snake is that a mouse <sighs> anyway 
You know what's so funny when I edit? I share this all the time. I talk about the same things over and over again because like I never have nothing planned. That's the truth. I just talk. Unless there's a topic I know I'm going to talk about. And then like I'll, I'll, I'll be thinking about one thing and then it will remind me of something else. And then I just... <laughs> It's too funny, but I do mean that. Like, I hate to see bullying. I hate to see people ganging up on. <sighs> I don't like it. And it could be because I have kids and there are, you know, and I try to teach them don't bully. You know, uh, if you see something, say something, you know, like that. And it's like, I, I like to practice what I preach. You know, if I see it, it's like I can't unsee it because then I'm part of the problem. But this is a type of graffiti I don't like. See that? When they just mess up a place and they put all gang, their gang signs and stuff. That's something that I should talk about. I've shared a little bit just in case you're new. When I was in my teens, probably started hanging around the wrong crowd about 14 in, in ninth grade. I started getting in trouble in eighth grade, but really in ninth grade. And I moved out of my house for the first time because I went back and forth when I was 17. I moved in with my son's father. And because my mother couldn't stop me, I, I was the type I was going to do what I wanted, you know. And I was never in a gang, but I hung with a lot of people. All my friends were. And, you know, I was with them when they did things and, you know, it's sad. So I came, you know, grew up like loyalty, you know, snitches get stitches. Um, I did four and a half months in the county. I got sentenced to four years and did four and a half months, got out on an ISP program. This is in the 90s for something I didn't do because I'm not a snitch. And I know now people look at it like, uh, you know, but I'm just going to tell you how I was. I raised my kids in the project, so you cannot be no snitch there because see what people don't realize, they're not going to come after you. I mean, they will probably, but like, they'll hurt your kids or your family members that's how they're gonna hurt you you know that's who they'll, they'll, they'll come at because they want you to feel that pain and gosh you know somebody asked me I think it was Lexi my daughter asked me mommy if you could take that back would you change your life and I had to really think about that well of course the the answer that I would want to say is yes I want to say that you know I went finished college and um, I settled down and provided better for my children and didn't get into all this trouble. Absolutely. But then on another hand, it's like, I'm also grateful for what I went through because it taught me experiences in life. And I think that's how we learn by experiences. And that's why when people say when they're older, oh, they have wisdom and stuff. Well, yeah, because they had different experiences experiences right they experienced more in life I am all over the place this is why when I walk probably I shouldn't film I shouldn't vlog when I'm just walking you know what I think it is because I'm just such at peace when I walk and I just can think and sometimes when you think that doesn't mean you should speak it out loud <laughs> remember I told you I'm a venter god there's a lot of squirrels I vent a lot and I like, see how I just talk and I can bring up something that happened years ago. That's just how I am. And I don't know, maybe I should probably edit all this stuff out, but I, I realize some things I should, oh God, I just touched that stuff. Oh. Um, some things I should just be quiet. <laughs> That's what I need to do. I know, but I can't help myself. Oh gosh. All right, let's walk to the car and then I will say my, my goodbyes because I don't know what, th this, I'm just all over the place. <laughs> and I, I don't know why. Uh, I, my mother, my grandmother used to always say, Anne, she used to, cause I'm an Aries. So she would call me an Aries airhead. 
and she would say, you know, you, you're too blunt. Think, well, she would always tell me, think before you speak. That's one thing she always tried to tell me. Have I learned that lesson? Hell to the no, because I still speak without thinking. <laughs> and then I end up getting myself in trouble. But I'm just talking. All right, I'm back in the car. Let me get some hand sanitizer so I touch that pole and other things out there. I'm gonna put some Clorox bleach on my hands. Oh, I'm such a germaphobe. Oh, that was so gross what I did. I have a little scratch there. Oh, not burnt. All right, so I'm gonna get off of here. Like I said, my next, uh, tomorrow I'm gonna vlog and I'm going to um, go to the other park where I don't think I've ever took you guys before and see what that's about. And then we'll go to other towns around me and then just walk since it's nice out because I don't wanna take for granted because watch winter come and I'm like, it's so cold. <laughs> you know? My lips always feel dry. I don't even know what this is. Oh. Vintage. Jessica Lee's Leaves kind or something like that. It's just it's just about all gone. I hate these kind of applicators. Remember when Kylie Jenner look, look how they're all gone all over the place. Remember when Kylie Jenner when she first came out with lipsticks and lip glosses? And I think Jeffree Star did a video and threw the stuff in the trash and remember all that thing? I I do hate those type of brushes though, but it's very pretty. Let me know down below other topics I should talk about so I don't keep talking about the same things or get myself in trouble. <laughs> but yeah, let me know any topics you want my opinions about or anything. And uh, yeah, that's everything, guys. Stay beautiful, stay blessed, stay healthy, and most importantly, always stay you. Never let somebody take you out of your character. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. Bye, guys.